Oh, I better use lemons. Oh, some lemons. Oh, here, look at this. Watch this. <laughs> I have lemons. Season one, uh, Food Network and Insight really did give the show such integrity, um, authenticity, and, and the foodies in, in Canada really responded to it. Um, I think everybody kind of waited to see how is, mm -hmm. you know, everybody knows the U.S. show, yeah. so everybody waited to see how is this going to pan out, yeah. and it was so well done and so well received that I think people who love food, chefs who have true talent said, you know what, I do want to be associated with this show. So the turnout was so much bigger and the talent was the, the yeah. talent was so deep. When we went out to the street looking for chefs again, we had an amazing response. Uh, really, really top notch, young, young bloods, so to speak, in, in the business. So I was thrilled about that. We, we had 300 applicants, we had to bring it down to 16. Uh, that was a tough process, but great, great young chefs very enthused about their careers and the food, very passionate uh, and very knowledgeable. Right. Toronto is such a multicultural city and that's something that I, I'm constantly trying to explain to people in the U.S. Um, we are the most multicultural city in the world per capita and Mark and I were saying, you know, years ago you'd have to go outside Canada to experience, you know, cuisine at the level that we like to experience it at. It at. Um, nowadays, you don't have to leave Toronto. Right. The talent is here, the you know uh, variation is here, and some of the best cooking. Mark and I felt like some of the best dishes we've ever had anywhere in the world. We had in season two. Tune in, and you won't be disappointed. You'll be like surprised. It's it's just I I personally because I'm the newbie on the show, so I was obviously fascinated uh, and totally absorbed by how each of the chefs kind of rose to the challenge. And they're just crazy. They're just like, and, and that's what is also very gripping. It makes for very gripping viewing, right? And we are, we are a format that follows the U.S. format. We did things that the U.S. show hasn't done. We have challenges yeah. that have never been done before. Our wow. team, the team here at Insight and Food Network has come up with things that really will blow, the, blow your mind. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't think some of them were maybe fair, but yeah. uh, maybe too hard. But, but yeah. in, in final analysis, when you saw what the chefs actually prepared, it turned out really well. Wow. But I was nervous going in thinking maybe, maybe, we, maybe we went too far. And for us, <laughs> having Lisa on board it was new for Mark and I, and while well, she is hard to look at, yeah. she's hard to look at, but it was an interesting element to throw into the mix with us because we we're very familiar with food, and Mark more so than myself. Um, but the having this, or the business, I'm kind of more the business restaurant. perspective. But Mark is both, uh, but Lisa w is kind of a novice, you know. And having somebody who can bridge the gap between, you know, what can be intimidating to somebody just tuning in. Lisa will ask questions about preparation and food, and a word that she's never heard of, and that she probably does know. But Mark will explain, or the chefs will explain. And we want fresh eyes, and we also want people who aren't food food people to be interested in the show and the truth is they are they just are intimidated and Lisa I think bridges that gap not true Interesting. well we, we've always wanted to define our own cuisine but we're, we're a melting pot and that that is Canada it's, it's, it's all about multicultural the whole multicultural aspect of the kitchen and that's where we've landed today like that question is not asked as frequently as it was say 10 years ago we we're always trying to define what Canadian cuisine was we're international, we're studied, we're serious, uh, we cook well, we cook really well.